So we got a call from Robbie Layton for a job that he got a call on and he's gonna need some help. This vehicle is way down over the edge, like six or 700 feet. So we're heading up here to see if we can give him a hand and get it out of there. We got Ed here with the weather. Yeah, it's a little cloudy, not bad, no wind, sunshine and good. If we have enough rope, we'll pull him out. Got Trevor back there. This is a real treat, because Ed usually doesn't come on these longer ones. And I haven't really been on any recoveries with Ed lately, so this is a good day. It is a good day. And not pictured. Booyah! Skeeter. Is Ske <laughs> is Skeeter. He's meeting us up here at Robbie's shop, and we're gonna, gonna do it. Tell them an update on your Rokon. Well, I haven't heard too much. Robbie got it, and I guess he's tore it apart and sent the frame off to be sandblasted. He'll get it painted and get it together, and I'll be able to drive it around the yard. And then there's been a couple people asking what's going on with the Suzuki, with the Golden Nugget. Yeah, the Golden Nugget, I think, is being sandblasted because it had quite a bit of rust on it. You'll get it painted, and I'll use it to pull the rope on. <laughs> and the trailer's being painted. Awesome. So we're going to be the Robbie shop like this. Look at that. Matt was right. Here we are. Late auto body. Hey, look at that guy. Is that a camera guy? I'm a camera guy. Are you a camera guy? Hey, camera guy. Hey, what's up, camera guy? Oh, you know, just camera. Who Rokon is this? Robbie's. Ro oh, he did get one. He just got one last night. That's a... Uh... So Robbie got his own Rokon just to take Ed off the scent. Who Rokon is that? I don't know. Whose Rokon is that? Robbie just got it last night. Oh yeah? Well, it's Robbie's. Oh yeah? He didn't tell us he had one. And he bought it last night. Had it up over the charger. We gotta restore it anyway. Sit yeah. down. Pay too much for the smoke. <laughs> Trevor, you might want to hop on this hog. I fall over enough on my feet, I don't know about on a bike. Oh, look, there goes Skeeter. He's gonna. Oh, oh he did it. Uh, Editor's in the neutral. Cut that out. I don't want <laughs> Skeeter showing me up. Use the brake! Use the brake! You can do that with some practice. Dude, I'm so excited to go up the mountain up here. I built a famous rope swing up the mountain up here. Things famous. All the college kids go to it. It's just a couple miles from where we're going. So you're saying if we swing on it, it's not going to snap? Dude, it's sketchy, man. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, good, other than our babysitter belt, so we had to go shape shift and make a new one. Personal things on company time. You want to know what time everybody needs to be here when I show up? <laughs> I'm right on time. Hey Matt, one thing you gotta learn I is when you're doing anything with him, it's not standard time, it's latent time. What color should I paint it? Gold's already out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the new ones are green, the old ones are yellow. So it's paint it. Up. What do you what think? What color is it between green and yellow? <laughs> if this was yours and that was yeah. not mine, what color would it be? Oh, this would be yellow. Oh jeez. Yellow and black? Of, that of, color yellow. Of course you would say that. Well is that the same as banana no, yellow? Blue. I don't have any vehicle, not a single your, vehicle that's the why same color. Why do Robbie Lake <laughs> Nation colors? Ooh, Ooh, blue is good. Yeah. Blue. There we go. Yeah. Now we're talking, look at that, skeet skeet with the good ideas. That's See why I keep them around? Yeah. But hey, if we get a sidecar, will you ride in the sidecar? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we'll put the dynamite up front, yeah. Matt can drive and you in the sidecar. All right, we are all loaded up in the Moravere here. Look at all that, smiling faces. Next stop is Spring City. We're gonna fuel up and it's kind of like our last chance stop. You ready for this, Ed? 
Yeah, yeah, you had all your fun on the Rokon, so we're ready to go. We're ready to go. We have a quota of shenanigans we have to hit every day, and we're close to filling that quota. Now we can get serious. I can't imagine there being a gas station up here. How come I'm not seeing a gas station? Oh, there it is. Here we are, Spring City, getting fuel. Last chance gas station. All right, we got our trail snacks, we got fuel, and we're on our way. Shutting down operations to get a drink. Yeah, I've been eating potato chips. Okay, roll on forward. This is a perfect opportunity to discuss hydration. Hydration starts before the job, not on the job. Does this road go out on pavement? No. It just gets worse and worse, Ed. Yeah. yeah Once you come up here, you never want to leave. It's just beautiful up here. This, the right amount of cloud cover. It's awesome. you got to spend the night. You're freezing your butt off. Dude, once the lightning starts striking and you're up here, it's very scary. <laughs> We were down there, and now we're up here, and we're going further up there. But we are on our way to Butterfly Meadows. Hillbilly is a witness. Yeah. There is a meadow called Butterfly, you guys will see. What does it look like? A butterfly. It's crazy, because it looks like a moose. <laughs> yeah, we see I a moose. I don't know why they named it that. But Butterfly Meadow it is. But anyway, we're leaving the roll back here, roading that thing up there. Right. <laughs> oh well, man. sorry. I'm gonna start driving it. Once I get sick of it, Hillbilly will drive it. Is somebody else We've all gotta it? suffer through this. Yeah. We'll get that thing headed down the road. All right, let's get to the top. Give her the beans! It's cramped. Yeah, it looks pretty comfortable. It's a little cramped. I mean, I'm little, right? I can fit. <laughs> the more bear's not so bad. We could be sitting in the back of a side by side. There's the butterfly meadow. Do you see it shaped like a butterfly? Yeah, left wing, right wing. You got a left wing, right wing, and the body right down the middle of trees. <laughs> Do you see it? I oh, I can see it. The body is the trees. Yeah. That's a perfect. There you go. Yeah, see? I got you. I got you. All right. To okay. infinity and beyond. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Thanks for the ride, man. Welcome. Thank you. So, I think what their plan was, once they went off the rocks, they thought that they could just go down the hill and down the hill. Onto this road. Onto right this here. road. But if you look where you can see the FJ, there's like a 20 or 30 foot sheer cliff. We know what we're doing here. At least we hope we know. <laughs> I'm just enjoying my last view before the cable snaps and I go <laughs> down the hill. Well, we've got <clears throat> some rain clouds. And we've been getting a little bit of lightning. We better get a move on before we get washed out. Look at that poor guy running. <laughs> That's farther away than it looks, Brandon. Just a little bit. <laughs> Good thing I brought my running shoes. <laughs> we could totally do this, but all day. It's the elevation. Yeah, it's hard to breathe up here. <laughs> down right here at the where are those at the other end of the snowbank oh really yeah he that, was he coming went, this yes. way he was coming from the south oh. he went off up here no. No. all right so you know the heavy wrecker yes you know how it's getting seven winches yes we have those seven winches but none of them have their winch lines on them oh. we took them all off yesterday <laughs> Oh, so this is what awesome. we're going to be doing. And these are high quality. These are these are off of the yeah, the Apex yeah, winches, the Badlands. They're woven tight loop. So, so we can just link them together with a soft shackle. So we're just going to break them all in and make sure they're worthy mm -hmm. to be on the heavy wrecker. Yep. So we'll go down. We'll go down and we'll get that FJ on its own power as far up as we can get it. 
and then put the skid, put the skiddy right here to the side of me. Yep, and then we'll just do whatever needs to be whatever done. Whatever needs to happen. Well, What's finally going to end up happening probably is a skid steer it's over here and a snatch block to it to get the front wheels. Okay. We're only going to get the stuff we know we need. Set this on the ground. Oh, she down in here. This on the ground. So you're going to flip a coin, Matt, to see who drives it out? I ain't going to drive it out. I'm staying right up here. I don't like it. <laughs> We've got our drone shots. We've crashed the drone. I have a walkie-talkie to communicate with Hillbilly. Hillbilly, do you hear me? Let's see if he... Oh, I can hear you. I can hear him from over here. Okay, I'm gonna walk down. Where did you crash it? I landed it, but I landed it. <laughs> landed it in the rocks. Yeah. I got it now. We'll let. Uh, Camera guys move that one. Camera guys don't work. Do you hear what Ed said on today's video? Ed's gonna be our cameraman today. Yeah, I don't have to work. I can hold a camera. You hear that? Cameramen don't work. You kidding? Camera guys run. We don't work. <laughs> so the fella, I don't know if the story's been really told. So there's that snow drift up there. He got to the other side and uh, he started sliding. So instead of stopping and trying to calling somebody, getting up somebody up here, to get him out, he decided, well, I can just come down that hill and get down to that road. What he didn't see was this sheer cliff right here. Right there. Of course, when he got down here, there is no way back up by himself. So then he decided to call somebody, and here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go as high as we can go and then stop, which isn't going to be very high. You got the parking brake off? Now it's on. <laughs> I thought you were going all the way, man. So Skeeter's been bringing down rope. We're just scouting out the right path to go up and down because this thing will roll over if we get in the wrong spot or we'll break something when we're pulling it. I drove a log skater last year and almost died a million times with like cable snapping and stuff. So That's okay. why you're not operating it. <laughs> you probably was rough on it. <laughs> I was. You're getting it in position? Yeah, I got to get it in position because it's going to pull wherever the cable is. Okay, you got that hooked up good? Yeah, I've got a nice path. We might have to stop a couple times, move our rope around different hills or rocks, but I think we've got a nice spot to come off right there. Okay, well, I'm going to head up and I'm going to start winching. Who's driving? Hillbilly. Okay, have him hold it. Hold it. If he can drive, have him drive up if as far drive, as he can. Go. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Uh, uh, uh. Don't stop. run over the rope. Stop, stop, stop. That's okay, stop. just stop. Okay, it's time to snatch block right now. I just need somewhere to hook to. Whatever's best, put that as far away as possible. Okay. I'm gonna back down the road, we'll run to the snatch block. Perfect. Well, how we doing so far, Ed? Looking good, looking good. It's nice weather up here. Yeah, the lightning and all. <laughs> no, Billy, we're gonna snatch block up here and then we're gonna run a line down to you. <laughs> we're just gonna back this up. We're gonna try to get enough to do this in one pole, so I'm gonna run basically all the way out. I'm not going to want anybody on this side of the rope. Yeah, everybody needs to be on that side. Once he gets his front wheels on, he'll he be able to hold himself. Hey, we're just about fresh. Three feet. Hold it. 
How you doing, hillbilly? Relaxing. <laughs> I'm ready for a nap, they're going so slow. <laughs> Just lean your seat back. It, I don't have to, I'm already feeling like I'm straight up and down. You got a mosquito, so I'm with you in spirit. Mosquito's with you right there. All right. Oh! <laughs> Unhook all that mess. Good job, Skeeter. Good job, Robbie. Good job, Skeet Skeet. Woo woo. Matt, Good job, you Hill Billy. Here. I got my victory banana cream pie. Can I have a bite? We had a pretty good group here watching us do this. So is it the same as it is on YouTube or better? Yeah, yeah. better. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know what you're doing. Better live. <laughs> So I didn't realize that guy came in from the south side. He didn't even come in from this way. He's going to be happy. Not a scratch on it. <laughs> yeah. Nobody got struck with lightning. That's good. Yeah. So now we just got to head back down the mountain and get some lunch. All right, we're back at Robbie's shop. We're about ready to head down to another job that you're going to see at another day. Thanks for inviting me, man. That was good. That was Thanks a good time. Up. Beautiful weather, beautiful scenery. It's just amazing up there. What do you got to say, Ed? Got back alive and nobody got hurt. We're lucky. 84 <laughs> years of getting lucky right there. That's one heck of a streak, Ed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Golden nugget. Oh, come on.